Now, look, we've got to talk about Kate Gate, OK, because the effects of this photo scandal are still being felt now with the top agency AFP now saying that Kensington Palace is no longer a trusted source. Look, Emily... Is she taking the fall here for someone else's mistake? It just seems incomprehensible that the media-savvy royal machine would make such an error or, like, that Kate would actually spend her days on Photoshop. It does seem incomprehensible. And there was just a poll out the other day saying that Kate is still the most popular royal in the royal family. So they need to be looking after. But on the picture, this country is quite split. There are lots of people who think this is just an innocent Photoshop error. But then there are many people, too, who think that there is more to this than meets the eye. Of course, the British press is much more careful than in the United States, for example, where people are talking on talk shows very openly about all the various conspiracy theories and all of that, which we're not doing so much in this country. Fundamentally, what everyone cares about is Kate's welfare. She's obviously unwell. It has, it has now been a very long time since we've seen her properly. Lots of questions still remain over this photo. Many people saying, oh, is it an old photo? Did she, could she possibly have done this herself? Is this all coming from the palace? Is this some way of managing PR that we don't know about? Of course, Prince William is soldiering on and still going to events. Yeah, he, well, it'll be interesting to see when she will actually appear in public again. Now, look, Meghan has returned to Instagram. How exciting to get the breaking news out to launch her new lifestyle brand, of all things, uh, Emily. Tell us about it. Do you know, I, I can't quite believe the timing of this. <laughs> So last night was uh, an awards ceremony to celebrate the legacy of Princess Diana, essentially a bit of a memorial. And this is the day that Meghan Markle chooses to launch this pretty vacuous, I must say, Instagram account. Apparently it's about cookery. She's calling it the American Riviera Orchard. I'm not oh, sure exactly what that God. means. But what struck me, what struck me is I looked at the Instagram page and she's all already got a huge numbers of followers so clearly there is an interest but she just says by Meghan Duchess of Sussex now this raises alarm bells for me because she's essentially branding herself entirely as the Duchess of Sussex uh, and essentially making money out of that now that is not acceptable practice you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to make money off the back of your royal titles in this way because it could lead to corruption and other things. So I'm wondering what on earth was going on here? Why on earth did she choose the same day as Diana's legacy award ceremony? Yeah. And what exactly is going on here? It's all very bizarre. I'm not sure. Well, look, all. nothing ever makes sense when it comes to Megan. Let's be honest. I mean, this is not an Instagram account I look to. I would look to follow. It doesn't sound very appealing. Um, but, you know, look, all the, best to, all the best to them. Now, this is interesting because a Cheltenham Festival. This particular festival, it's a must-attend society event in England that's existed for decades with the ladies traditionally putting on their best frocks for Ladies Day, but now, Emily, it's been called Style Wednesday. It has gone gender neutral. Do you know what? This is, this is upsetting. Ladies' Day is one of those traditions that, funnily enough, women actually enjoy. It goes back to Queen Victoria, even. So this is a long-held tradition in this country, and it's something that women look forward to. They look forward to wearing ridiculous outfits, having all their fineries, having their high fashion, having their designer brands, having their big hats with feathers sticking out of them and long uh, dresses, gowns, and everything like that. I don't understand why in order to appeal to other audiences, perhaps, in order to get more young people there, they feel like they have to go a bit yeah. woke. Now oh. it's all about re-wearing your fashion. Now the men are oh. allowed to be involved in yes. the best dress. It's Seriously. no longer about the women. But, but no. you know what? I think the women will still uh, say it's Ladies' Day. Well, who would have thought that ladies actually enjoy Ladies' Day? What a foreign concept in this day and age. Emily Carver, thank you so much, as always, for joining us.